today's video. Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Today I have a short list of things to do. And I'm starting with changing out these bar stools. I really like the bar stools that are here, but they don't really fit underneath the bar the way I'd like them to. As you can see, the legs of them are kind of bunched up together, and this is just not the look I'm going for. So let's change them out. So guys, I found a bench from overstock that I really like and I think it's going to complement the area. But you guys first, this video wouldn't be right without my little helper. You guys, she's turned into a production manager. And by the look on her face, it's as if I have not done something to her liking. Maybe it's the lighting, I'm not sure, but let's go forward with this video. And there's one last check from the production manager. So you guys, this bench that I'm opening came from Overstock and I'll list it for you in the description box below. The cushion's a little darker than it looked when I ordered it, but I think it'll work just fine. I really like the way the pieces to the bench are stored underneath. All you do is peel back that Velcro flap of fabric, take out your pieces, and then Velcro it back. And now that I have all my pieces back and the Velcro back together, I'm getting ready to take it and put it together. And by I, I mean my husband. I really love the color of the legs of this bench and it's one of the things that drew me to the bench. I really love the absolute total look of the bench and from the looks of things, looks like my husband is having a pretty easy time putting it together. So while he's busy with that, I'll start on dinner and let him do his thing. Now you guys, you're watching all this sped up. It did actually take my husband a little bit of time, but he's a perfectionist when it comes to putting things like this together. We're almost there and the bench is looking lovely.
and here you have it guys he's all done so now let's get it under the bar and see how it looks I absolutely love it. I love the colors. They match my floors perfectly and the bench fits perfectly underneath the bar. Next on my to-do list is adding a new piano stool. Now you guys remember I painted my piano white, but the old piano stool that I had was falling apart. I've had this piano since I was 15 years old, so I knew I wanted something new. I needed something new. When I came across this one, again, a find at Overstock, I absolutely fell in love with the rustic look of it. And I think it complements the piano well. And I'll list this one in the description box for you as well. Now, moving on to the breakfast area. You guys, I have a project in mind for this dining table. I wanna switch out my centerpiece just a little bit. So, next on my list is this DIY cork tray. So guys, I'm using these cork screws that I found at my local thrift store. I paid $3 and some change per bag. What a deal. You guys, I'm also going to use some rope I'm going to use my handy dandy glue gun and you guys won't believe what I'm using for the base of my tray I'm gonna use this 16 by 8 piece of canvas I'm turning it upside down because I want to be able to sit my corks in the well of the piece of canvas and I'm starting by just alternating between the darker corkscrews and the lighter colored ones and I'll just continue with this pattern until I've completed the entire thing. So I'm just using my corkscrews to create a pattern. I'm going down the middle vertically so I can get the rest of the corkscrews to fit. And you guys are gonna see they absolutely fit in there perfectly. Now you guys, right here I started my pattern wrong, but I left this footage in to let you see that sometimes mistakes are made, but I'm gonna just go back and pop them out and do the right way. Now I'm gonna take my rope and I'm gonna begin to glue it all around the edges, and then after I've completed the edges, I'm going to do the sides. Pretty easy. <laughs> And now I've cut two small pieces that I'm gonna use as the handles, and I'm simply going to hot glue them to the side. Now you guys, these are purely aesthetic. I will not be using these to actually lift the tray. And you guys, here's my finished tray. Don't you love it? Now in the future, I may hypoxy the top of it or 
cut a piece of glass to go over the top of it but it looks perfectly fine the way it is I love it and here it is styled on my table you guys the video really doesn't give it justice it is really nice Well guys, today's video was short but sweet. Um, thank you for being here. If you're new, I would love it if you would join our family and subscribe. You guys, if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And you guys, don't forget to enjoy the little things in life because it's all the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. I'll see you next week, guys. You guys, be blessed. Bye-bye.